originally the transmission system through our area fed from Nucla, ultimately down to Durango through the Telluride region. Uh, over time, as the loads grew, Tri-State actually upgraded the line. So over time, that became the main feed into the Telluride region, which is obviously a huge load center for San Miguel. I came to San Miguel in September of 07. At that point in time, the feedback that I received was the project was basically dead. We serve from Silverton over the mountains north to halfway to Montrose. We serve the town of Uray. We serve the town of Telluride and Mountain Village, which is predominantly the ski resort. There was an avalanche in the town of Ophir, and it wiped out the power line, and it was gone for three to four days. Now, in the wintertime, and you have a ski resort, it's pretty tough to deal with running the gondola, running ski lifts. Planning began in this project in 1995. Construction for this line presented us with unique challenges. The mountainous terrain crosses three canyons and is one of the highest transmission lines in the United States. We also built two new substations, Norwood and Wilson Mesa. Modifications were made to the Sunshine substation to allow for 115 kV power lines. There are two sections of underground transmission totaling 10 miles. Underground transmission construction requires special construction techniques. Underground power cables are spliced together. Splicing is a special welding process that takes three days per splice. There are 60 splices in the project. Early in my career down there, I realized how important it was for reliable power into the town of Telluride and, and Nucla. And energizing this line sure helps stabilize reliable power down in that neck of the woods. Where they're operating off of generators in the back because we don't have the ability to hook up to a power source, it's a little bit difficult. But it really created a lot of problems. And so we needed to have a backup line. The homeowners had to agree to it in the end result and agree to put forth some money on their own uh, to make all this work. I think the magnitude and the scope of the job, there was a lot of coordination with the members, with the landowners. And safety is always number one for us. But obviously, if we see something unsafe, we'll shut it down. And it really went pretty well with, with Tri-State. All in all, a project this size, it, it was pretty impressive. My wife and I used to live in San Diego, California, and we went to Telluride. We just wanted to see what it looked like. And that year, we made three trips to Telluride. And each time, we just fell more in love with the place. You've been here, you know exactly what it looks like. But it is just a place that we've already bought dirt in the cemetery. So we're ready. <laughs> This particular project required us to complete an environmental impact statement, which takes into consideration any animals that would potentially be in the area of our project construction, and also cultural and natural resources. We also had to be mindful of hunting seasons for deer and elk in the area, as well as protecting some wetlands within the construction area. The transmission line usually in the 115 volt scenario is typically overhead, especially in a rural area. In the Telluride region, because of the, the beauty, the aesthetics, we were able to reach a collaborative process and Tri-State agreed to put a large portion of the line underground. The other thing that we learned from this is that Tri-State and San Miguel Power has to work closely together. San Miguel Power Association was a great partner to work with Tri-State for this project. We had to test the underground, we had to test the overhead. So coordinating all that and the way it came off was pretty impressive. It would have been very easy for Tri-State or San Miguel to back off and say, you know, this is gonna cost too much money. I've been in construction for my whole career and it's just pretty gratifying to see this come together. It will help this town continue to thrive.